tagging ads on the game and we are you know currently look like uh, like um, uh, what we are seeing at the ad revenue sites uh, and what would be the revenue of it and so on and if all goes well by this roadmap then we decide to publish it and all process starting from the beginning as the publishing as a whole uh, soft launch game and by that um, you know as you all know about the LTVs LTV is the lifetime value and uh, this is the uh, structure that the uh, estimated or the average revenue that a customer will generate throughout the lifetime which is the literally Bible word for all of us, for all the mobile and game sector industry, by the way. And um, a basic LTV calculation is around like average revenue per daily active user uh, multiplied by retention. And most of the time in hyper casual games, uh, the LTV ranges starting from 30 cents to two two dollars, sometimes the two and a half dollars or something like that. Okay. Uh, in terms of LTV improvement, we have to try something though. Either we can try for the product and the content side, or we can, you know, try the monetization side. So I'm going to start with the um, product and content side. Uh, what have been tried with some of our titles, what is work, what is not work, and something like that. For example, for the product side, uh, we modify some level progression and implementation of the obstacles, bonuses, and bonus level structure, as you all can see in the giant rush. And it worked really well, by the way. And the second of all, <coughs> we unlocking the new contents, like the features, like we did in rock crawling. And the, uh, the other uh, examples from our titles is the we changed the camera of controls to reinforce player engagement, like we did in, in the tepito and skins and shops implementation to increase of rewarded impressions that also we did in tepito and a special level through rewarded things uh, to optimize the rewarded and increase the rewarded watching by the way uh, like we did in webmaster yeah that's all that we can try for the uh, product or the content site but what we can try for the ad monetization site you know, at um, at monetization site, we are currently trying the three, uh, three different pillars on it. One of them is the conventional site, and the other one is the more innovative site, as I can say that. In the um, traditional site, as you all know, we can add either uh, new bidders or the new ad networks to our waterfalls. Like we can try, we can start with AdMob like Google, and we can add some ad, ad, um, new ad networks like the Facebook and the Unity as well, something like that. And the second one we can try on uh, the floor pricing, which, we, which means that we can add some different CPM ranges, which means that, you know, there's a line items, there's a waterfall for the, uh, for the monetization side, and um, you are targeting CPM lines for each of them. So the another one is to implementing eCPMs or the CPMs for the line items for the waterfalls. And the uh, last one, maybe we can try, and we are really trying on this one, by the way, we can add more geos on the waterfalls, which means that, you know, we started the soft launch with the US or the Brazil or the UK. So we can add some more other deals like tier two, tier three, and we can observe the, how the CPMs ranging are going by these different uh, deals and the tiering as well. And uh, you know the uh, best thing about the ad mediation system, for example, on the Applowin Max and for Iron Source or, or for another ad medi mediation or something like that, uh, you can actually try the A-B test for it. If you want to try A-B test for the uh, ad networks, ad bidding, yeah, you can try it. If you want to test, uh, do some A-B test for the geos, you can try it. And last but the, not the least of them, you can even uh, try the IDFA and the non-IDFA waterfall with the 
at mediation platforms. Yeah, and the, the second uh, pillar that we can uh, improve our LTV by the monetization is the uh, innovative ones. First of all, we can try with the, you know, the, some new structures like in-game ads and uh, uh, these came as a additional revenue streams and they really fitting very well within the gameplay. You don't even realize that they're on the game site at the background. And the second of all is the audio ads. Audio ads is the very, very innovative ones that there is a message on the background that we are sharing with the users. Uh, the users doesn't even understand where is it coming from. It's working really well though, by the way. And the last one, um, we can really improve the LTVs by playing the frequencies. I mean that you can change the frequencies by interstitial in two minutes, in three minutes or something like that, even you though you can change the frequencies by banners, like you can choose the 30 seconds banner, uh, 20 seconds banner or so on. Yeah, that's bringing us to, yeah, the Bible word of our industry, I think, the ROAS. Uh, ROAS, as you all know, is the return on end spend, and which is literally means that I'm giving you 20 bucks I'm expecting to earn you from 30 bucks. That's the ROAS in our industry, I think. And it's the, yeah, this is really important for us. And the main calculation of ROAS is the uh, total campaign cost divided by total campaign revenue. You know, um, the ROAS, when we are talking about ROAS, it differs uh, on the uh, country level, on the ad network channel level and the platforms level. And uh, when we are, uh, you know, improving, trying to improve the ROAS, by the way, we are looking at some different ranges of the ROAS, like day one ROAS, day zero ROAS, day seven ROAS or something like that. So it's really important to calculate each of them to predict the long-term ROAS. So um, that's why the, all the things in here, like the channel, like the country, like the platforms, all things are really affecting to find the, uh, the optimum ROAS for us and the calculation of the ROAS. So what we are doing in here is uh, literally to finding the best recipe for the ROAS. And that's why we are changing all of these metrics by, uh, by looking for the optimum ROAS as well. And in TEP Nation, because we do really care about the transparency, by the way, well, you know, you can just check out the, all the journey of the game that uh, all the studios, all the, you know, the managers can follow up all the uh, data on the platforms. You know, so you can all that uh, have a question marks on your mind that what, uh, what have, uh, if we done this for our in-game design or the, what have we done for the, this campaign structure for the UA site and something like that. So you can see really the results of all the improvements on the dashboard and you can really track on uh, by in the real time as it. And by that, uh, we do really want to talk about our one of the greatest hits, as you all know, Giant Rush. Giant, by these improvements that I, you know, talk about and mentioned about you, and like we did really, as you can see in the graphic, uh, we did really uh, achieved this road, I think, and we got like 70 million installed on worldwide for both platforms for both uh, iOS and Android and reach top uh, seven in the iOS US and top reach, top one reach in Android US. So uh, that's why we want to show how these improvements are do really important from the game side and also from the, you know, the growth side. Ah, okay. 
And uh, for Giant Rush, what we have done, uh, as a literally, uh, that we observed the impact on it. Like, as you can see on the first screen, uh, moving gauge multiplier and level, and it's let increase around like 14 uh, times, 14 percentage of rewarded watch. And at, as you can see uh, at the second screen, like we added like wall breaking slow motion animation and it let decrease of day one rust by 40 percentage uh, around it. And the, uh, as you can see at the third screen, uh, we implemented a special big walls mechanic. It worked really well, by the way. And it increased uh, of day one by uh, two percentage and day three by uh, four percentage. So these are the things that we tried on Tap Nation site, and we are still trying to improve all of our titles, including Giant Rush, day by day, by the way. Uh, so uh, just wanted to show you about the, you know, the, how these improvements, how these actions can let your game or studio improve, your, uh, improve you in the industry as well. all from uh, my presentation. It was quick. Uh, hopefully no one got sleep. <laughs> so any question on your mind? Yeah, go on. One, one. <laughs> Thanks, Eugene. Um, I was just curious because you mentioned audio ads at some point and that it was performing well. Is it, if it's not confidential, of course, can you share maybe some numbers or how well um, performed that you have seen in the games or mm -hmm. some, some maybe interesting things mm -hmm. that you can share? I Thank you. It's not a confidential, mm -hmm. uh, but since our monetization team is not in here right now, mm -hmm. maybe you can reach uh, us uh, via sure. LinkedIn, via mail. Uh, we, we would be really happy to share the comparison and the A-B test on it. That's yeah, amazing. Great. Thank you, Urshan. You're welcome. Uh, I have another question. Uh, are you looking for new companies to start to work with you as a publishing model? What kind of publishing model do you have and offering right now? Um, since publishing team is not in here, <laughs> I, I can't give the precise uh, roadmap uh, behalf of them, maybe. But uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, we are uh, really uh, working by uh, really closely with the, uh, all the game studios. And we are sharing by day by day, maybe weekly, uh, make making some weekly calls and something like that so we can share all the things that's what we are doing on our side too but from the beginning till the end of the uh, game because there's no end of the game you know you have always way to scale up more scale up and so you can try all the things uh, in the game side uh, yeah i can say that more pricely it is the like closest um, relationship i have ever seen but uh, for more information, maybe I can ask for our publishing team and they can uh, show me the, maybe the case or the roadmap for it so it can be, uh, you know, good benchmark for the studios that uh, want to uh, work for us. I just uh, wanted to say that, uh, that Up Nation is uh, the great company and you, if you're looking for some new uh, companies to publish their games, mm -hmm. Your games just come into the top nation guys. Yeah, there's a lots of there's a lots of uh, great uh, you know the success stories uh, in the top nation that's relating with the studios as well. Maybe these ones uh, could be the good benchmark for the studios that can work for us. So uh, they want to work for us. That's the uh, maybe they we can share our the. Uh, these kinds of studios, these kinds of cases with them, so it would be great, uh, you know, the benchmark for them, too. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned about uh, in-game ads and audio ads, uh -huh. and I want to ask something about Google's new update about interest issues. What's your strategy to overcome? Will in-game ads and audio ads enough to 
compensate uh, what's lost uh, after those updates. Uh, you mean talking the AdMob? AdMob side of it, the in-game side? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Google Play Store will oh, okay. have an update the, the soon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, since, as I mentioned you earlier, this is the monetization side uh, of, the, uh, of the job, and uh, there is no monetization team in here uh, as a tap nation, but uh, as far as I know, uh, I don't know if this is the right answer for, uh, for this one, but, uh, you know, we have um, faced some issues uh, you know, for the iOS tracking issues, as you all know, after the 14. And uh, I think more to come on Android as well. But I think uh, our monetization team uh, didn't face any struggle or the face, as far as I know, by the way. Uh, but let me check uh, w um, what are the struggles they have been facing relating with the, you know, the new kinds of uh, in-game ads within the Android one and get back to you if it's okay for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.